welcome back to my channel. I'm Monique Flemings and I'm so sad I'm saying that. Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. Today's tutorial is going to be on this snow white looking look that you guys see here. Felt like a little ice princess, I'm not gonna lie. Yesterday I did this look and I posted it on Snapchat and I just got so many compliments and so many requests to do this tutorial. So I was like, all right, and looks like I'm gonna be doing a repeat. To complete this look, I used my Prism palette. I know y'all are so tired of seeing this Prism palette on my channel, but it's so versatile. There's so many different looks that you can create, and it's a fall palette. It's a holiday palette, so it came out right in time for the holidays. I'm just really digging this palette. Went out, bought the palette, left the palette, did tutorials using the palette. It's that simple. It's really, really dig this. I think it's super fall. It's just really pretty. It's like one of those, you know, oh, you're you're different, but also it's just kind of like approachable. It's very soft and fall. It's fall though, right? I think this, this is a fall look. Yeah, I'm not going to do a long intro. I'm not going to talk you guys to death. I'm just going to show you guys how you can complete this look. So, of course, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you like me, make sure you go ahead and hit the subscribe button. It's over here. Think maybe over there somewhere it's below in this area real simple just hit the button there you go of course thank you guys for watching this video and i will get right into how i completed this look bye so i already prepped and primed my eyelids as usual and i'm going to just set that with dawn this shade here this is actually not dawn this is unity Oh my god, I think I'm thinking about the subculture palette. Yeah, oh my god, <laughs> subculture has a shade named Dawn in it. Okay, well, I'm gonna set it with Unity. Can you put that right into my lid? And this is just to create a very smooth base so that all those other colors will just kind of blend effortlessly. Prefer to say your eyelids with a translucent powder. I guess you could just skip this step. Next, I'm going to take a Morphe 511 and I'm just gonna go into my Violet Boss palette, which is should be this way. This is the light or dye version, and I know that these just got on sale on Sephora. However, I'm going to be using this. This is one of my favorite like pro palettes. All of these just warm shades, and you also have some cool shades over here, and I just love this this is ride or die and this is my ride or die i'm going to be going to this beige shade here and this is erica and then i'm going to go down and go into abigail and then into alice so i'm just going to go into boom 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 all at once and i'm doing it like that because they're all going to end up blending together Okay, right, so the brush i'm going to be using is this morphe 532 not my crease but above my crease So don't worry if you can't see that much of a difference immediately. These shades are not heavily pigmented and oh, ow. They're very lightly pressed. I don't really like get just a huge like show of color from them. Next, I'm gonna go in with the same brush. I'm gonna go into Abigail. I'm just gonna put that right on top and that is going to show up just a little bit more. So I'm taking Abigail and it's that warm brown right underneath Erica and I'm just going to be popping that into my crease and then doing windshield white motions back and forth. Using this same 532 brush, I'm just going to go into Alice. And that's below Caitlyn. I'm just going to also pop this right into the crease. And as you guys can start to see, the color is starting to become way more vibrant. Buildable shades together are starting to create a wonderful transition. Gonna take Riley, and that is this shade here. This is the Burntest Orange on Your Palette. 
So I just went really down this row, guys. Really, really simple look. It just takes some, some patience because these shades have to be built with each other. So this is just going to deepen up this orange as you guys can see. That other shade was really close to this, but I'm just popping this really into my crease, really just controlling the product. So you guys can see the difference. This eye looks just way more vibrant. And I'm just going to do the same thing over here. Just pop this into my crease and then blend it. Okay, I'm gonna go into Saturn but my Prism palette. Finally, we're getting into her. And I'm going to take that same Morphe 506 brush that I was just using, this small one here with the shade Riley on it. I'm going to go into Saturn, just another burnt orange. Like I said, guys, we're just really building this crease right now. I'm going to take a Buff and Blend E39 and I'm going to go into Parallel and I'm going to put that right into this outer V. And then really it's just going back and forth between these two brushes and Parallel with the Saturn and just buffing and then blending and then buffing. So it looks something like this of this sort, pretty much. That's what you're gonna be going for. If you want to skip this step, this is totally fine. I wore this look by itself. It's really cute, it's really simple. But I'm gonna go do a little extra, just just glam it up just a little more. I love this look though by itself, but I'm going to go into throne, this green shade here. And this is like I said completely optional you can like just leave the eye look where it is now it's really good but I'm gonna pop that on the lid because I have on this green sweater guys and I just I want to match it this is actually the same sweater I wore yesterday so I'm gonna use my Anastasia this is a 827. This is a flat eyeshadow brush. I'm gonna go into Simeon, this dark black shade here. I'm gonna use one of these little buffer brushes. This one is just from e.l.f. I'm gonna put this bad boy right into the outer V. Just darken this up. And I'm just gonna do the exact same thing on this lid. So guys, this is going to be your finished look. And this is the look that I created yesterday. Only I think it's just a little better because I knew what I was doing and I can see definitely more of my traditional shades now that I added just a little few more colors that I didn't add yesterday. But yeah, this is one of my favorite, favorite fall looks that I created. I just randomly threw some stuff together yesterday and everybody kept complimenting me on this look. I was on Snapchat, you guys asked me to recreate this look. I posted an Instagram photo, everybody in the comments was just like, do a tutorial. So this is the tutorial how I got this look. <laughs> hate that you guys can see my head back there but yeah so of course if you like this video make sure you like it actually physically and do the thumbs up button and of course if you aren't already subscribed to me what are you waiting for girl go ahead and hit subscribe so you can see more great looks like this one in particular and i will see you guys tomorrow and thank you so much for viewing this video